Hey, it's Gavin here, and I've got a four minute arm toning routine that you can do at home with zero equipment. So I hope you're ready for this. The first exercise we've got for you is what we call monkey pumps. And it starts in this position. And we're pushing our forearm and our palms together so that we contract the biceps, shoulders, chest, all at the same time. So really lock that on. And from there, we open it up and we squeeze our shoulder blades. And from there, you're gonna push overhead, nice and high, as high as you can. So we get the shoulders engaged here as well. Pull them back down, squeeze the shoulder blades once more. Bring it back to the middle and squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, so that's just kind of one rep of that. We're gonna do it for 60 seconds and then move into our next exercises. So if you're ready, come and join in. So we're gonna start the timer. One minute begins now. So we squeeze, 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 open them up, squeeze those shoulder blades, push overhead, up as high as you can, up, up, up. Bring them down, squeeze, 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 back to the middle. Okay, and now we should have the hang of this now. Down, bring them, here we go. Try and exhale on the effort. So it should be three times the exhale. So that's one, two, keep it coming. And really lock on that contraction. So really trying to push up into this, boom. Looking good, looking good. Hopefully feeling good too. All right, not long left. Last few seconds. Come on, stick with it. Yes, looking good, looking good. Nice work. All right, shake that one out. The next one is what we call a static contraction. We're gonna do it with a bicep curl. So you're just gonna lock in this position. So again, one minute, we're gonna start the timer right now. Now I'm tensing as hard as I can. I'm gonna do it for as long as I can. Well, 60 seconds, so whichever comes first. But the key thing with this is to try and keep it locked on for that entire time, okay? It's very easy to let it sort of drift away and fade so you're not fully contracting the whole time. But you've got to tell yourself, when you start to feel it fade away, lock it back in. So I'm just here, squeeze, 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 really trying to bring your fists in and tense your bicep at the same time. Lock it on. We stand tall, control the breathing, and really keep that switched on. I said it's very, very easy, especially when that fatigue starts creeping in, to let it just fade away. Bring it back, lock it in. Quick time check. Ooh, not long left though. We've got, what, about 10 seconds. So, squeeze, 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 hard as you can, hard as you can. Go, 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 go. Don't let it fade. You're almost there. Come on, come on, last few seconds. Whew. Relax, let it out. All right, our next one is what we call reverse fly. So I'm gonna squeeze my palms together here for an extra contraction, again, around the shoulders and the biceps. I'm gonna start the time now as well. From there, we're gonna open it up, squeeze those shoulder blades back to the middle, squeeze, and away we go. So again, exhale in the effort. So we've got two on this one. Great work, come on, let's keep on this. Nice. Should we start to feel a little bit of lactic acid building up around the arms and shoulders? Looking good. Come on. Do it with me. Ah. Last few seconds. I was hoping it was the last few seconds. It's got 10 seconds left. Keep working, keep working. This is actually a very good one for anyone who's got shoddy posture. So you're always slouched down at a computer or just looking at your phone, tablet, all that sort of stuff. And that's a good one to try and open up your posture, especially get that chest opened and it's jumping at the back. Very good for your posture. Anyway, moving on. Next exercise and the last exercise is again, a static contraction, but on the tricep extension. So you may have seen this one in the gym. You would kind of be here, you do a kickback, that sort of move. So it's very similar to that. And we're gonna hold it in this position here. So again, we're trying to lock on the triceps. So we're trying to switch that muscle on and keep it switched on. So trying to maximize the contraction. Now I've got my palms facing forward as I do this. We're here. You can play around with the angle. You can turn in or out, but try and find a 
place where you feel it working. And again, head up, chest out on this one, really lock it on. Again, it's going to fade away at some point. You need to try and bring it back, keep it switched on. We've got 25 seconds to go. Come on, keep with me. Ah, hold tight. We've got this. Not long, a few more seconds. Come on, big effort now, big, big effort. Uh, uh, uh. There you go, shake it out. So there you go, that is four minutes. Very effective four minutes. And if you're just beginning with this exercise lock and arm toning, then that might do you, but I said that. If you are perhaps a little bit more advanced, a little bit further on with your fitness journey and arm toning, then you might wanna do a second round, maybe even a third round of that. Completely up to you, but it's something that you can do at home, zero equipment, anywhere for that matter. So I hope you make use of that one and let me know how you go. All right, take care for now. Bye-bye.